Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today, I just want to just quickly mention this. So, a tweet came out from Rave, who is currently a player for Skulls Esports, which is over in the MENA region, Levant, North Africa, I believe. And he actually tweeted out some pretty damning evidence on possible match fixing. So, we'll just quickly, so I will just talk about, well, I'll click here and I'll just try and read it out. So, basically, first, um, Rave was signed to Skulls Esports on February 13th. Uh, who was like a base in the Levant in North Africa team. Uh, however, on the evening of the February 15th, I mean, basically two days after uh, he joined the team, uh, Hammer J, I, 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 I also apologize if I mispronounce any of these names, contacted Rave uh, basically because he had quote, connections in China and offered to earn two, basically $2,000 for throwing the first match. Uh, obviously, he's been he, obviously he has been against uh, basically throwing, which clearly makes sense. So he basically said no. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Hammer J actually deleted the chat as well in Telegram, which is a bit sus, we'll say. Um, and then so he, and then so he so he reported the incident to the manager of the organization, um, and and he also talked about as well to some of the pro players, but didn't actually mention it was actually Hammer J who said it and apparently some actually have pointed out that he's done this before worked for three matches for money uh basically he's just a very weird interesting guy we'll say definitely very much loves to throw because of money um next thing as well is that the manager said that he'll keep an eye on hammer j and if and if it turned out that he was still evolving in fake matches or throwing matches, I should say. He would be kicked from the roster. He was satisfied as, as he continued to worry that the team might actually intentionally lose matches and leave him in the dark, basically not letting him know and stuff. Um, and Ryan will probably uh, accuse the team of fake matches and he risks that he will be part of that and his career environment will be over, which makes sense. Um... He then told his teammates from Skulls Esports that were shocked to, uh, and began to communicate with the leadership of the organization and wanted to basically kick Hammer J immediately off the team. However, this is where it gets a bit spicy. A few hours after talking with my teammates, the team captain informed me that the management had decided to kick Troublemaker, who was most opposed to keeping Hammer J in the lineup, and bench me. Uh, so the team captain, if you're wondering, his name is Animal, and we'll have a look at the roster soon. But one more thing as well, the organization didn't, did not conduct any investigation and explained that the, the, bad, that the reason why he was benched was because of bad performance, uh, which is weird because he was in the team for less than a week and only played two official matches. And then he basically said that according to Wikipedia, he was still a core player, which is actually literally not true. Um, he was basically gone. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, basically, after he rejected uh, a Hammer J's offer to throw the match. And the management as well of the of the organization asked me to not spread in uh, mis uh, basically told him to not spread any information about the matter and obviously he said that even though hammer j has threatened him to not spread any slander um he will not remain silent and he will actually just bring it out basically just say what happened which i'll be honest i give him props for doing that because this is it's a weird situation because obviously this has happened before, you know, three matches and stuff on money. It's kind of like a normal thing in Valorant, but I don't think I've actually ever heard it over in the MENA region. And this is actually a Discord conversation as well between Rave and Hammer J. Obviously saying this was in Russia saying, do you have Telegram? Um, then Rave said he found he me after the game, was talking about the manager. Yes, I do. Do you have 10 minutes to speak? I am doing my university homework, but I have. Go add Hammer J. Why not on Discord? And that's basically where the, the conversation started on Telegram, which is pretty interesting, I'll be honest. So this is a roster that uh, Rave is a part of, uh, it, which is a basically a team in the Levant and North Africa region. And the team captain, as, as it was referred to, what is Animal? This, this, and this is Troublemaker, and this is Hammer J, who is basically the person who told Rave to throw for two thousand dollars, very measly. At least it's not three hundred twenty-two hundred dollars, but that's good enough. 
So that is basically, so this is the team that we're kind of just talking about and covering as well. This was also the match that uh, Hammer J wanted Rave to throw at, which is this match against uh, against Contractless. This was the first uh, game for Skulls Esports for the first split in Mina. And obviously they won 2-0 pretty convincingly, I'll be honest. 13-6 and pretty close on 14-12. I'm guessing that's maybe where they were trying to throw. As I mean try, I mean maybe like Hammer J and Animal were probably trying to throw, but everyone else probably wasn't. Well, mainly Hammer J, I should say. Um, but actually they won that one. And then we get into the second map. Rave and Hammer J and Tomaker, all three are still there, and they won and actually they they, they lost against Team Occupy. And then we get into the third match, which is interesting. Because, as you can see here, there is no rave. There's still Troublemaker there. And Hammer J is still there as well, including Animal. But coincidentally, there was no rave. Which basically does confirm that rave was indeed benched after the second match here against Team Occupy. Because he basically said no to Hammer J to throw. Now, the Troublemaker one, I'm guessing he's probably benched by now. If not, he will be leaving the team. He just hasn't been announced yet, but we're not. I'm not really too sure about that. Because, obviously, if we go back here, it does say that have a, after a few hours, after talking, uh, after talking with my teammates, the team captain, Animal, informed him that the management had decided to kick Troublemaker. He was most opposed uh, to keeping Hammer J in the lineup and bench me. So there hasn't actually been any any confirms about Troublemaker actually leaving the team. Like if we still go to uh, Skull Esports, even in VLR, he is still on the team right here. And Lucopedia as well, he is still he's still technically on the team. So I'm guessing it hasn't been announced yet, but that's something pretty interesting that I've noticed. So whatever happens in a situation, I do hope that it gets resolved pretty quickly. Um, I'm guessing that Hammer J might be the leaving the team or Ray might be leaving the team to go to a different team and not really too sure But this was just a weird and pretty surprising and pre pretty surprising thing that actually happened most recently I'll leave a link to Ray's original tweet down in the description below So you can read it for yourself and try to maybe dissect some things I didn't really uh, talk about so now I'd like you now guys to like comment and subscribe It will really help me especially on this channel as obviously, I think tomorrow I will be patch notes, so I'll be talking about patch notes and stuff, so that'll be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, this was just a very weird thing that just came out up, basically leads came up on my feed, and I just wanted to just to basically shed some light onto it. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.